Welcome to another round of Sports Views. Tonight I'm reviewing Honduras 4, Granada 0 in Group D of the CONCACAF Gold Cup 2021. The final match of the first round of the group stage. Everybody's played their first game. Tomorrow we have the second match round of the group stage starting. But let's talk about this. Yeah, it's a little bit late thanks to the weather, but I don't control the weather. I just talk about it. So don't get mad at me that it was a little bit late. But it was worth waiting for both games, but also this one. In the 28th minute, Jerry Bankston gets the ball off a howler from the goalkeeper and just taps it past his legs, nutmegs him, and then taps it in the goal to make it 1-0 Honduras. That's the way it would go into the half. But then they start scoring goals. Edwin Solano gets the ball in off a cross, makes the run in behind, stays on side, takes the shot, puts it low into the near post to make it 2-0 in the 52nd minute. Johnny Leveron, coming back to the Honduran national team, gets a run in behind, gets in, puts it far, post, easy as you like, off a good switch of play, 3-0. And then in the 87th minute, Romel Kyoto does his trademark Score a goal from a terrible angle because that's what the hell he does. As a Toronto fan, I would know because it's like every time he plays Toronto, he scores a goal from a horrible angle. Or when I watch him play, he scores a goal from a horrible angle. 4-0. Amazing shot by Romel Kyoto that only he could probably score. And Honduras just steamrolls Granada. The first time a favorite actually looks amazing in this tournament. Well, them and Canada, but everybody else, not really. We'll talk about that later. I'm going to make a little bit of a roundup at the end of this for the whole match round. But there you go. Full-time stats, 11 shots to 10, 4 shots on target to 3, 58% possession to 42% possession, 446 passes to 334 passes, 84% pass accuracy to 76% pass accuracy, 13 fouls to 4, no yellows, no reds, 1 offside to 0, 3 corners to 3. For me, Honduras showed why they would be a favorite in their group and one of the favorites to go deep because that was dominating performance. That was pure power. Now, Granada had their chances, but they were dominated. But Granada made a good couple of chances. They couldn't score, but they had a good couple of chances to where they looked a lot better than I expected. Granada looked a lot better than I expected coming into this tournament. They're, they, I thought, they were more like a Guatemala or what I thought Guatemala or Trinidad would be. But then again, Trinidad got a result or more like what I, I thought Haiti would be. You know, that's what they looked like. They looked pretty good, honestly, Granada. Let's not slight them at all. They looked pretty good, but Honduras... After they scored that first goal, they just started rolling on all cylinders. Pure power. Just doing what they got to do. And of course, I do have the Olympia colors on. I don't have an Olympia shirt. If you're an Olympia fan and you subscribe to me, you remember this shirt because I wore it the last time they played a CONCACAF League game that I covered because, you know, colors, right? the colors, right? But I don't have an Olympia shirt yet, but this will do. Um, I think. But... The Olympia colors, but there were some good Olympia players in this game. Jerry Bankston, of course, not wearing a mask because it's finally time to stop doing that. Well, I mean, he got vaccinated, but you get my point. That was a bad chirp, but I didn't mean it like that, okay? Just, yeah. But Jerry Bankston looked different because I was used to him wearing that mask. <laughs> I really am. Um... Like how he was wearing a mask with Olympia while he was playing. I'm used to that. But Jerry Bankston scores a goal. Maynor Figueroa looking great, I have to say. Davy Flores playing well in midfield. Honduras looked great. They did. And Honduras was like one of the best teams so far in this tournament playing in their first game. Canada, great. Qatar, Panama, they both played well. But I thought Qatar would actually win. Um, I was used, I said they would have to get used to being CONCACAF'd. They do. 
I wasn't wrong about that, but I was like, oh, they're scoring three goals. You think that will be enough? Because I didn't think Panama was that good, but that group is shaping up like I thought it would. Honduras on top, Panama third, Qatar second, Granada fourth. I called that one. I think I'm going to call that one. I don't know. Because, um, easy, you know? I think I'm calling that one, but I'm calling my shot there. Yeah, Qatar's going to beat Granada because Honduras kicked the crap out of Granada. Honduras is probably going to beat Panama. Then Panama beats Granada. Honduras, Honduras, Qatar draw. So you have seven points, four points, four points. Yeah, it's probably going to end up that way. I see the future, don't I? No, I don't. But Qatar, not Qatar. Honduras played well tonight. Honduras was good. Very good. And I was impressed. This is the first time I've really been impressed this whole day. Qatar scoring three goals like that. Every like five minutes after the second half started. Um, that was good. Panama scoring the goals they did. And it was pretty good. They drew them like that considering, you know, three goals against, three goals for. That may help them on the goal differential. I don't know. But that could be the thing. But I have to say... That inspired, not inspired me, but that impressed me in Honduras, the way they played. That impressed me. Because Honduras was playing exactly like I remember them, expect them to. They were like, but they're going through a transitional period. Nope. That's the Honduras I know. That's the Honduras I know. Uh, they were pretty good. I'm surprised they didn't beat Granada 8-1. to Um... The PTSD ran through my head a little bit there, but whatever. Um, yeah. For me, Honduras was great. They were. They dominated that game. Yeah, Granada had a good couple of chances, but Honduras dominated every stretch of that game. Honduras deserved to win that, and by the scoreline, they did. That was amazing. It was. It was. So, looking on that, they played well. Absolutely well. And for me, today was a great day of football. And that was a great way to end the first match round. So, for me, teams that in, not <laughs> impressed me, not inspired. Why do I almost say inspired again? See, I don't know why I do that. I talk too fast and I catch my, not catch myself, but... Tramble on my words a little bit. I'm trying to get this one out quickly because it's freaking 1230 in the morning. Thanks to the rain. It's not my fault. But teams that in impressed me. Damn it. Almost said inspired again. Impressed me. I'm not editing this. I don't care. That takes it too long. So if you're mad, you're mad. That I'm stumbling over my words a little bit. But it is what it is. For me, Canada, Qatar, and Panama... Honduras, Trinidad, only because they shouldn't have drew that game, and Haiti. Teams that did not impress me, the U.S., Mexico, of ones that should have. Honestly, the U.S. and Mexico, those are it. And uh, Jamaica, not really. Jamaica should have been better, but no, no. Jamaica was not as good as I expected, and Suriname, not really. Costa Rica, oh no, Costa Rica, as I said, are geriatrics, a group of geriatrics. So I'm not going to change any predictions, of course, but I'm going to say that, do I think the groups are still going to finish the way I projected them? Yes, except for Group A. I do think Trinidad and Tobago will find their way to second place. Even though El Salvador has three points and Mexico only has one. I feel like Trinidad will get three points off of Guatemala and get another point off of El Salvador. El Salvador will probably lose to Mexico. And so if that's four, five, seven, yeah. Trinidad is in with a shout. They could be this year's Haiti. But other than that, Canada, U.S. will fight for first and second in Group B. 
Jamaica and Costa Rica, I think, will probably be the teams that still come out of Group C. Suriname could, but Guadeloupe, they have no chance. And then Honduras, Qatar, I'm still sticking with that. Trinidad's the only one that could surprise me. But even then, El Salvador could still finish second. So I may get one team wrong out of the eight they make it through, but I think I'll still get seven at least, if not all eight. But that first round of matches was not exactly the best of what I thought they would be. So, with that said... That's the end of the first match week of CONCACAF Gold Cup. We're into the second one tomorrow. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Tomorrow, I have a Trinidad versus El Salvador live watch along. Mexico, Guatemala, RSR. Probably going to be called Aztec Rage, considering Mexico's probably going to throw them up and down the field and just beat them so badly, they're probably going to cry to their mama. But, hey, who cares? I mean, if they don't, I'd be worried. That's when I'd be worried. And also, go subscribe to my Patreon. Five, ten, or twenty dollars a month. Anything is appreciated. You'd be cool if you do. Help support the channel. There you go. I'm Ryan, and I'm out. Peace. See you tomorrow.